This is Dr. John Dombrowski with Ms. Rice and here and we're uh, shooting a little video today for our patients to see to maybe they can learn about spinal stimulation as it relates to neuropathy related from the chemotherapy. Right. And that's kind of what you had, I think, correct? Exactly. That is exactly what I had. And you had cancer how long ago? I had cancer in June of 06. And what kind of cancer? Breast cancer. And you had and you they gave you Taxol. In my chemotherapy. It was mm -hmm. part of the drug in my chemotherapy. And um, I finished the chemotherapy in January of 07. And by June of 07, I was not walking at all. And what have people have tried, you know, for your neuropathy, for well, your feet? Well, we've, we've done physical therapy, which did help me move again. Um, I've had um, acupuncture for quite a long time, which never gave me any relief. I had a cream that cost $8 million for a half ounce. It didn't work. Um, and I had to put it on with gloves, and it just was very scary to me. Mm. But uh, nonetheless, it did not work. I've tried it all. I've all but buried a chicken at night, midnight. You know, I, it just, everything, nothing more. And you saw a colleague of mine, Dr. Carlo Tornatore, who's a neurologist out of Georgetown. Correct. He's my neurologist. And then, so he thought this might be an idea for you. He wanted me to check it out. And so we saw each other, my God, over a year ago. And how was the trial, and how did it help you? The what do you trial think? brought te tears to my eyes. I thought it, would ch it had changed my life. Uh, so we went through the trial, and I had other tests as well that you require, probably that my insurance requires. Mm -hmm. And um, and this was psychiatric evaluation. I'm guessing one, one was a psychiatric evaluation, um, and the other was a test to see how my nerves reacted. Okay, nerve I, conduction study or EMG. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Which was the most? I'd rather give birth. It was yeah, horrible, those are comfortable. Horrible. Nonetheless. Um, I was had the surgery in October of last year, mm -hmm. 2010, and it's it's hugely different. I, my life is hugely different. In what way? Um, I have more energy because the pain was just wearing me out, and um, I think my attitude's better. I'm a woman of great faith. I never thought I wanted to take my life or anything, but I always said to myself. You know, I could go now. I could go now. I've done it all. I've seen it all. I've had my children and all that. And I, all of that is fabulous. But my feet were so bad, I just thought, I can't take it another day. Mm -hmm. Every day I thought that. Every day I took it. But it's just given me energy. It's given me a better outlook. And it's definitely uh, decreased the majority of my pain in my foot when I hit the floor or mm -hmm. the, the asphalt or whatever I'm walking on, but they get very weary late in the day. Sure, still get tired. I mean, it's not a it's My not a hundred percent. No, but no, but I, I'll take it any day. Yeah, and how about running this device? Is it complicated or it's is not complicated? Um, I charge my body up two or three times a week simply because I don't want to do it one time a week because it takes too long and I don't have the patience to sit there. So two or three times a week when I'm fi I find myself with nothing to do for the moment, I'll, right. I'll charge up for uh, four or five minutes instead of 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, then during the day, I have programs that I can set it on depending upon what I'm doing. Movement of my body will create a more, um, more vivid sensation. sensation, I guess is the best way to describe it. So if I'm going to lie down for a nap, number eight's not good for me. But if I'm going to be walking a lot, number eight, my program for number eight is, is great. But uh, uh, if I lie down, I have to go to my program number six. Mm -hmm. Good. So. so if people are thinking about doing this and they're watching this on YouTube, you know, for patient education, what would you tell them to do? What would advice would you give if you were going to watch it? Well, the testing up that you need to go through is obviously necessary for someone, so obviously you'd have to do that, but um, I think it's just where your spirit goes with it. You know, I, nothing, I've had a charmed life, and my feet have just put me up to the edge. Really, I don't go to the edge. Mm -hmm. So I would say to them, it's whatever's between here and, and where you're, where you're standing in your life as to whether or not y you would try it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I figured if it didn't work, 
there's somebody sitting in a dark little corner of some lab thinking of something else, and I'll just get that when it happens. So I'd say give it a chance. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you have to lose if you felt like I did? Right. Well, very good. Well, thank you for the time, and You're I'm welcome. sure the patients thank you, too.